Welcome back, guys, to the TP Show. I'm Tarzan. I'm Pedro. And I'm Jose. So our special guest is a little different than most of the people we know, especially our age, and that's because he has a kid. Yeah. How is how is the dad like been treating you so far? Um, it's unrealistic. It doesn't feel like it's 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 real, but it's amazing. It feels so different than anything else I've ever experienced, and uh, it makes you want to cry. Um, one thing I learned from the pregnancy too is actually um, the doctor told me the told told us that um, while she was pregnant, she could either have the emotional symptoms or it could have gone to me and i did they want to me one day at work well, yeah um the guy mm. the father can also have symptoms for the wife i forgot yeah. what they're called but basically it's you know just having the symptoms that's crazy um so she got obviously just cramps and cravings uh weird it's weird just cravings. Just well yeah. okay what are some of the weird cravings if you don't mind um because i know people have like really weird ones uh, it wasn't too weird. It was just constantly wanting food so late at night that I had yeah. to go to Seven Eleven to go get a bag of uh, chips. Like at three a.m., it's like, babe, can I get a bag of chips? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I'd go get it. Yeah. Um, if you weren't carrying my child. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, at work, I noticed that the uh, the symptom of being emotional hit me while I was just doing work, just chilling, listening to some music, washing the dishes. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, yeah, I'm just like like thinking in my head, like the music, I couldn't hear the music anymore because I was just focused on what I was thinking of. Yeah. And I was just thinking like, wow, I'm having a baby. And I just started like crying. I was like, what the hell's going yeah. on? So I ran to the bathroom and I was like, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting like so sad, but like in a happy way. So yeah. I was getting happy tears, but I was like, what the hell's going on? You know, yeah. nothing bad has happened today. I just woke up, came to work and I'm just working, you know? Yeah. Work hasn't been bad, and I just started crying and stuff. Um, and it kept happening, so I would I would get uh, uh, like mood swingy, so I'd get like depressed, basically, like just like sad but like happy, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, I felt that. Um, but that's about. I, I didn't get angry, but um, yeah, that, yeah. it was definitely the like I'm crying for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I I feel like I don't know why I feel like my wife's gonna be like the the rock, and I'm just gonna be like. I feel like I'm going to be the same way. You're going to be breaking down. <laughs> but I'm going to be worse. I'm just going to like be breaking down every single day. <laughs> that too. Uh, when uh, I was super, like, way too emotional when, when Kobe died too. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I did like Kobe because I'm uh, a Lakers fan. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, you know, it shouldn't have hit me as hard as it did. Mm -hmm. But that's because I was still dealing with yeah. the emotional symptoms. Like, I heard it on my phone. I took a 10-minute break. I look at my phone and I see that Kobe died and I was mm -hmm. like, Wow, and I couldn't believe it, you know, just because I, you know, I just couldn't believe that he died yeah. at first. And then all of a sudden, I started crying, and I had to go to the bathroom because I'm crying over Damn. Kobe. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Mm. I shouldn't be crying for this, you know? Okay, but is there any other celebrity right now that if they died, you would be, like, heartbroken? Like, can mm. you think of one? Because mm. mine, like, mine would be J. Cole. J. Cole. I fucking love J. J. Cole. Cole. Like, yeah. everything about J. Cole. Like... How old he's is a he fucking too? legend. Like, around how old is he? He's not that. He's probably like almost. He's probably like barely like mid thirties. Mid thirties. Yeah, he's mid thirties right now. Dang. Which is crazy because like, I don't know. I think he started his career a little later than most people, but like he's created like a whole empire. Like he literally has his own label and everything. Shoes has, too, no? Some like a collab yeah, of shoes. He has a Puma collab now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's Ooh, it's crazy. Puma? He's, I like doing. He's doing yeah. a lot. You, Tarzan? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've followed anybody. And he said that like Sylvester Christian. Stallone, yeah. Jason. I'd be pretty sad, but I don't think I'd be like... No, you wouldn't be like, yeah. like oh, fuck. I'd be like, life goes on, you know? Like, mm -hmm. Life, for me, it would yeah. be Jackie Chan. Oh, really? I would fucking cry. Honestly, like, Jackie Chan is a hard like, hit. Um, you know how people would do those fake things where it's like, uh, today, uh, at Bob, oh, Bob Jackie, Jackie Chan woke up fine this morning? <laughs> I saw that one on Instagram one time, and I was like, no, and I started getting <laughs> super sad. <laughs> And it said, woke up this morning. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> dude. I was like about to start crying because I love Jackie Chan. I used Jackie to watch Chan the show and all that. Oh my God. And it would make sense because he's gone through so much like yeah. damage. And he's, yeah. old, he's, old, he's, yeah, and he's older. old now. All his freaking stunts. Yeah. You, you know his old movies? I yeah. like how they show all his like yeah, all stunts, stunts in the yeah. end. Yeah. All the bloopers of him like yeah. getting hurt hella bad. Yeah. 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 But like, oh my God. I Like with Jackie Chan, I would definitely yeah. bust down in tears. Yeah. That's a deep one. <clears throat> But I just don't feel like I followed anybody's career enough mm -hmm. to like feel like I'm that connected to them. To like, what be about your to... mama? I would cry. 
Oh, that's different. <laughs> Maybe like if all our mamas on died, mamas. yeah, we would cry. <laughs> on mamas, on mamas. Honestly, anyone in my family, like I feel like I would. Well, then I'm close to. Yeah, cause, like immediate family. No? Yeah, because yeah. like I've had like grandmas die, but like I never met them, mm. or I met them like once oh when I was God. like three. So like, yeah. when they told me, I was like, I should be crying, but I'm not because they're like a stranger to me. Yeah, I know they should be important to me because like you know everyone's like, oh my grandma, like I love my grandma. Yeah, but I never experienced that. So when like they died, I was like, oh, you know, yeah, it's sad, but it's not like necessarily impacting me the way I think it should. Yeah. For everyone that doesn't know, I met Pedro through his ex. Oh, we're talking right now. We're gonna talk our backstories of how we've met Jose. Yeah, yeah. So well, I met both of you guys through my ex. Yeah, it's crazy because like, on if I hadn't met her, I my life would be so much different. Yeah, I wouldn't have met you guys. I wouldn't you have met the whole crew. Yeah, you would have. No, well, I I met you when I was little. No, but you didn't even like in middle school. I was. Well, you out. introduced me to my ex. Yeah. Yeah, cause really? That's yeah, I cause so. we would play like basketball and shit together, and then like I I was in Diana, cause we all came from Phillips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like I would like, you know, in middle school you're just you just kind of like lean back onto your, wh- whoever you were with in elementary school. Yeah. But yeah, like during middle school I started out with Mario, mm-hmm. and cause I had history class with him, so during lunch I would hang out with him, and you and you guys would sit together. Mm. And then that's how we started hanging out, and then like at one point, like you, through that you met Diana, and then you guys can tell how you guys met. <laughs> uh, well, I started having a crush on Alicia. All right, one of my and I remember homies. the first first, the first time I met Pedro was um I think we were sitting down like me and her were sitting down at like yeah. the table where usually you guys would have sit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you weren't there yet, so you were coming up with. Diana, mm-hmm. and that's how I, I I knew Diana not that well, but I started to know her, and then that's when I met you. But I was like, you were the only guy there, and I felt kind of like awkward, you know, because I was brand new to the school, hey. so I didn't know any of you guys. Wait, um, you didn't know him until middle school? Yeah, yeah. I that's crazy because I thought I always thought that you guys knew each other for a longer time. No, than, no. Yeah, I always thought you guys because you were part of that group before I was. I think. Uh no. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, I and was he like... He joined late in the year of 7th grade. Right? Yeah, That's I, joined, crazy, I joined really late. I don't know why I always feel like you were more connected to that group than I was. I don't know. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> so I always imagined that like you were there first. No, I, I came to school as an emo. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, I was yeah, the one I with do the remember. hair all like this. I do, I do remember, remember that. With the hoodie yeah. all over. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't want to talk to any of you guys. And then like all of a sudden, Diego's like, oh my God, look at his drawing. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to these they guys. figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I met Tarzan through <laughs> Halloween. I didn't even know that I had met him, mm-hmm. um, but um, I was dressed up as um, Connor from Assassin's Creed yeah, 3. From Assassin's Creed, yeah. So I had the full cloak and all yeah, that stuff. Was, None uh, of the I weapons. Know, I remember that. I remember but I had that. the full cloak, and then uh, I think, I don't, I was at the stairs, but I don't know if like I was walking up or you walked up to me or whatever, but like you were... Mm-hmm. Complimenting my costume, yeah. but I didn't really give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of blew him off. Yeah. Um, but then eventually I started, like, obviously, because I liked Alicia, I started seeing him and then you more. So that's how I started seeing him yeah. because, like, yeah. I was just getting close to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that, that's kind of. But yeah, I remember his cousin. I, like, mm-hmm. uh, I do remember saying, like, yo, your cousin's pretty dead. <laughs> I was just like, okay. <laughs> but how did. Okay, the whole, the whole, like, Diana thing, was that, like, like, I hung out with you, like, we hung out already. We hung out already. But then I hung out with everyone else because of, I saw her? Uh. I know this is a question that I should know, (laughs) but I have a horrible memory. Me too, like, this is really blurry, like. Yeah. Uh, I blocked everything out. (laughs) (laughs) Middle school is kind of (laughs) hazy. I remember where I used to sit and stuff, but yeah. like, that's about it. Oh my god. Yeah, because I, I low-key remember middle school, but I don't, like... Yeah. Well, because, like, I had so many phases in middle school. Like, so many different friend groups that I went through. So many people, different people that I talked to. Like, when I got there, I knew one girl. Mm. And that's because I used to date her cousin mm. in back in American Canyon. So when I came there, I knew one girl, and I've been talking to her since, like, maybe November, like late November. And then I went to school early January or something like that. So I knew her for a while. And then 
I only knew her, so I would hang out, I would hang out with her and her friends. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I slowly, like, you know, found my own friends. And then in seventh grade, like, that's when I started hanging out with, like, yeah. your friend group. Came, turned everything upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I forgot, too. I was getting closer to Carlos before I was to you. Yeah. I forgot how, but, like, I was just getting closer to the video games. Yeah, and then eventually yeah. you came along, and it was, like, us three, and then uh, Pedro... Yeah. Like, I remember 8th grade, we would be the ones, like, in PE that we'd always feed the team. I came from Vegas. Yeah. So I was wondering, like, what would happen if I stayed there? And uh, I found out because I had asked my friends in Vegas, like, what they did after I had left. Mm-hmm. Um, and they said that they started doing, like, hard drugs. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, God, you guys, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So well, I would have probably, you know, gone well, with them. Well, well maybe. Well, my... Some of the dudes over here did, started doing some hard drugs oh, and yeah. you didn't. But to be... The, one of the... My best friend throughout middle school... Because in, like, elementary school, it was me and, like, four other kids. Like, we were, like, best bestest friends. Like, mm-hmm. me and this other kid used to walk to, like, like every day we would walk to school together. Like, we would hang out in the morning, so we would watch cartoons together. Like, it was amazing. And then, I don't know what happened, but in middle school, we kind of, like, you know, drifted, a- drifted away from each other. Mm. But we still used to watch the school and shit together. No, you know, we were, we were still close, but, like... Our schedules were off. That's what it was. Uh, so, yeah. like, we wouldn't be able to hang out during school. Mm-hmm. But, like, a- during after and before, we would. But during school, I had, like, a best friend. We used to, like, play sports together and shit like that. And he's in prison right now. No way. I don't know for what, but he's been in prison for a while. Jesus. Yeah, I've been thinking about writing him a letter. And honestly, I might. Do it. Yeah. And seeing, like, you know, how he's doing. Because his girlfriend runs his Instagram account. So, like, I'd probably, mm-hmm. like, contact her, but... To see what you yeah, but do. I have no idea what what he's in for Dang, or anything. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. Before yeah. I actually came to Napa, um, I left a whole lot over there because I was kind of a fuck boy over there. Oh shit! Um, mm-hmm. Turned into a fuck, went from fuck boy to emo <laughs> kid. Yeah, um, <laughs> happens to all of us. <laughs> um, Damn. so I was in Vegas for a while, but um, mm-hmm. I I I was at one school. And I made a whole bunch of friends there. And I was, like, the one that, like, everyone tried to follow. So I was, like, I guess you could say the popular one. Mm-hmm. But I just saw it more of, like, I just had so many friends. And, like, I liked it. You know, it was cool because we play. Yeah. We, they all live close, so we play after school and all that. Mm-hmm. So it was cool. And then I moved from that one to a different school that was literally, like, up the street. But mm-hmm. it was just different. Like, I was, like, right across the street from this other school. Yeah. Made a lot of friends there. Same thing. Um and then we all went to the middle school, which was also down the street again, mm-hmm. um, except going back. Yeah. And um, there I met all my, like, so all of the friends that I had accumulated, the big groups that I accumulated at one school and the other school, we they were all now in the same middle school. So oh, you can imagine. Did the they big, combine? Yeah. So the, big, the, the, the two big friend groups all combined into one. Yeah. Um, and I did so many things like... Um, there's a lot of things that I never said anything about because <clears throat> it's embarrassing. Oh, jeez. Like, the fact that I, you know, was kind of a fuckboy. Like, there mm-hmm. was a lot of girls that I Damn. I had dated and, like, kept yeah. dumping. Like, I kept going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Um, not from the same girl, but, like, you know, jump from one to the other to the other mm-hmm. to the other. Um, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> proud of. <clears throat> um, another thing, too, is I got caught with a knife. What? Um, one of my classmates, he was being threatened. Or, not my classmate. One of my friends... Uh, who was, like, super nerdy and super, like... He, he wasn't rich or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So he wore the same, like, camo sweater and oh, all yeah, that. Yeah, um, yeah. His name was Steve, and he's, like, awesome. He, like, right now, he's buff as hell. Mm-hmm. Like, he, 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 like yeah. he, like, changed so much. And I'm proud for him, because he used to be so scrawny and, like, such a little baby. Yeah. Um, and um, he was being bullied. And I kept telling the guy that bullied him, you know, because, you know, he's, my, he's a good friend. I kept telling the guy that was bullying him, you know, hey, leave him alone, blah, blah. Um, you know, I didn't want anybody to bother him. And then yeah. eventually um, he bullied him enough to where he was scared. And my friend Steve had brought a knife to school. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't, it, it was a pocket knife, but it was just, you know, us, our, we were little, you know, yeah, our yeah, little yeah. hands. It looked so big in our hands. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he was like, he was like, hey, I got it. I got this knife. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, what are you doing? You know, you can't be bringing this into school. Because yeah. um, uh, the school that we were in was already known for, like, you know, things happening, kids yeah, fighting yeah, yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, this was, like, all, like, so different. And yeah. um, I took it from him. I was like, dude, you know, you can't have this. I took it from him. <clears throat> and then uh, we were actually taking a test that day. So I took it before we before I got moved out for talking too loud to him. Um, so I had the knife. And then they sent me to the back of the class to take my test 
and um, my pencil broke, but the teacher was kind of too mad at me to, to like, to give me another pencil. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was too mad at me. Like, um, she was really strict. Uh, so she was too mad at me to, like, to pay test. attention. Yeah, to pay attention to give me a, a sharpened pencil or a pencil yeah. sharpener. So I was using the knife to kind of slightly sharpen the... <laughs> I, I know you were dumb as fuck. Going out. I know that's, it's dumb that's as fuck. hilarious. But I was, I was, like, kind of just going like that with the knife, you know, sharpening mm. it. And then she catches me. And she's like, oh, no, Jose, you know, like, what are you, know, what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> and I was like, fuck. You're like, you didn't um, give me a fucking pencil. <laughs> oh, yeah. sharp, I'm pencil. Um, um, but like, uh, before that had happened, I was known as like a really good student yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. So I get sent to the dean's office. Um, and, um, they, you know, they ask me questions like, why do I have it? Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I, I told him the truth. I was like, you know, my friend had it. He feels he feels unsafe. You know, he's getting bullied. Yeah. And I took it from him, you know, to make sure that nothing happened. Um, and it, I, 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 I kind of made it worse, I guess. Uh, his parents came, they talked yeah. to him, um, oh, and, uh, I saw his dad, like, slap him. Oh, oh. Um, backhand slap him. Jesus. So I like felt this? super bad. Yeah, like, <laughs> but it was, like, in the parking lot, just straight yeah. up, like, super hard. One place. Yeah, there's, there's too many X's to name over there, too. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's funny you say that, because when I was at the middle school, uh -huh. I had, you know how I said I left in winter break? Yeah. So, like... When, in one semester, I had three girlfriends, and then one girl that I was talking to, and two of the girlfriends at one point were cousins. Oh my god, what the heck? At one point? They were at one point. They were at one point. <laughs> cousins. They were yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and then, so. <laughs> like, we're cousins. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> well, the funny thing was, well, like, I ended up breaking, uh, I was like, I was the same way, like, I was just. Start dating a girl and then dump her for no reason because yeah. I was stupid. Yeah. I was stupid. I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know what I was doing, and then so one girl I dumped, and then her cousin was like, "I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all my my big cousins." Because it was like, Aaron Canyon is in a bad area, but it's like worse than Napa. It's so there's, there's super like small, no? yeah, but there's yeah. like there's like gangs and stuff over there. Mm. So and like she was like, "Hey, like I have like I have three cousins." They're all older than us, and they're all gang members. Like they're all gonna beat your ass because you made you made you made my cousin cry. Yeah. And I was like, "What the fuck, man? Like I fucked up. Like I'm gonna get my ass beat." Yeah. And then I ended up dating that girl. <clears throat> like how the fuck? Two weeks later, you know, hatred turns into love. You yeah. know what it is? Yeah. I mean, it's middle school. Like none of it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! I yeah. cannot imagine that. that was I did. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I did in middle school and elementary school. I did not go through a fuckboy phase. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> okay, but you, when we did it, it was like innocent. Like we were the kids. Like none of that shit yeah. mattered. You actually, what? I'm are a fuckboy. No, I'm a hoe. Yeah, yeah, you're a hoe. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, a hoe. sorry, I'm not sorry. A boy. I hate that. Lady. Sorry for the correction. He is a hoe. Not I a cheap am one. A hoe. Yeah. I am not a cheap not one a cheap either. One. <laughs> well, when I went first went to middle school, I remember I couldn't afford anything. Like yeah. my my family had just bought a house, so I was like, like our family was like yeah. poor. So like I would really I had come to school like in old sweatpants and old mm. sweatshirts and like every single day. You always came in like like sweatpants, no? Like I, I always seeing always like some sweatpants. Yeah, when I was little, I would always come in sweatpants and shit. And it wasn't until seventh grade that I I like I got like kind of peer pressured. I was like. I was like, man, like, all these fucking kids are coming to, like, designer shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Because that's when, like, all Obey the, and all that. Yeah, we had so many fucking middle schoolers who were, were like, fucking Obey, Supreme uh -huh. and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then I was like, I was like, all right, I'm going to be cool <clears throat> and I'm going to buy, like, this shit. And then I did it one time. Like, I bought, like, an outfit that I was like, like, people are going to fuck with this outfit. And then, <laughs> and once I bought it, I was like, fuck, I hate myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then from then on, I would just wear, like, you know, like, normal clothes, I guess. Yeah. But it was, like... The beginning of middle school, I was legit, like, I'd wear, like, the same thing, like, a lot. You know what happened with me? What? I, I like, never bought into that. the same leather jacket. That leather jacket. There's a <laughs> story behind that leather jacket. I was in a, I was at a basketball practice in Harvest. Mm -hmm. And then my, my godmother went to pick me up and we started walking because she lives right next to Harvest. And we started walking to her house. Mm -hmm. And we find this leather jacket and I keep it. And like I've I wore it ever since. Like I wore it for the longest time because oh like God. it got and that it was cool. That legit became your identity. Yeah, that came. Yeah, your... I remember that. Crazy. Leather, leather, leather jackets. like leather jackets are cool. That's the <laughs> that's the origin story, bro. The, the origin story. That's, that's how you became Tarzan. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. you put on that leather jacket and it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything changed. Nobody <laughs> cared until he put on the mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and yeah. And during elementary school, I remember I was really small and like like all these kids like were like slightly bigger than me, but you know, bigger is bigger. Yeah. Um and so I would like slightly low key get bullied. Mm-hmm. But nothing too, too harsh. Like honestly people are looking back at it and they'll be like, What? No. Yeah. But anyways, like I got in like two fights maybe. Mm-hmm. I got my no, I got in one f- semi fight. It wasn't a fight. Yeah. <laughs> I got mad at this one kid and like I yelled at him and then his bigger like friend mm-hmm. was like, "What's up?" and I was like, "What's up?" and then and then like I ran at him. I don't know what I was going to do, mm-hmm. but like he like pushed me and I got pushed down to the ground. Yeah. And then somebody stopped it right away, sent us to the principal's office, and they were like, oh, they made a big deal about it. Yeah. And then ever since, I started working out, and yeah, I worked out. Yeah. That's how I started working out. Yeah. And yeah. that's how we became closer, too, because yeah. we would already work out together. Yeah, that's how I started going over there to sell, and then I was like, oh, there's a free gym. Yeah. And you were like, what? And yeah, I, was I was like, like free, free gym? And then nobody like, free? And then I, I was like, free. And then I was like, let's go. And you were like, let's go. And then we went. Yeah. And, and then, I went too sometimes. Yeah. 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 And we, we would let you go every like Wednesday or something. Like, we would we, go all the fucking Yeah. Time. We would walk from school. Yeah. 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 To your house. Oh, you yeah, would make sandwiches. Remember, yeah. And then yeah. we'd go. I remember yeah. seeing you guys too when I'd, when I'd go home too. Yeah. yeah. You guys would pass. Or you guys would, like, I'd leave to my house because yeah. I was in that other house. And then you guys would just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not a fighter. Okay. I'm yeah. a lover. You know? <laughs> not a very good one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a very good one. <laughs> Look. I'm mediocre. <laughs> um, but basically, there was this kid, and we were like, we were friends. Yeah. And then one day, his cousin came over, right, from out of town, and he was trying to impress his cousin. So we were hanging out. It was, we were young. We were like, in, I was in fucking like third grade. We were like at the playground, because we used to have playgrounds at my apartments. Mm. And then he was like, you're fat, because I used to be a fat kid. Like, I used to actually be like, mm. really yes, fat. same here. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, so... <laughs> Basically, he was like, you're fat. And I was like, how are you going to tell me I'm fat? You're fatter than I was. <laughs> and then he really was, like, bigger than I was. I was like, I was like, look, I'm not I'm not one to insult people, but, like, you're fatter than I am. How are you going to insult me? Yeah. And then he was like, no, but, like, you're fat, fat. And then <laughs> and then, and then we we fought that day, right? And then, not going to lie, he, like, beat my, like, I got a few good hits in. But we're small. He beat my ass. He beat my ass, right? And then we had a bunch of friends, and then they heard about the fight, right? Yeah. And then this girl came up to me one day. She was like, she was like the girl who like always had like gossip, always started, yeah, yeah. always started drama and shit. Yeah. And she was older than us, so she came up to me one day. She was like, "Hey, how about you fight this kid again?" Oh. Then I was like, I was like, no, but wh- why would I do that? Like, this, I was like, I was like, just throwing out the trash, and she like <laughs> just came out of nowhere, and she was like, no, but like, like, look, I've heard he wants to fight you. Like, you guys should fight, like, tonight. What? Then I, I was like, what the fuck? Like, Why? I don't want to fight this kid again. Like, I've I got my ass beat. Yeah, I got my ass beat. my ass. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> and then, she was, she was like, she was like, okay, but here's the thing, though. Like, I'm good at fighting. She used to get in fights all the time. She was like, I can low-key show you how to fight. Oh, And then I, I, was, I was like, but it's this afternoon. She was like, she was like, yeah, but fuck it. Like, we'll do it. And, you know, she was trying to teach you how to slap box. And I was like, I don't want to do that shit, like. What that's what he does. Like I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, you hear it? Okay. <laughs> got a little montage going. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, we show up to the fight, and like this whole crowd, like the whole block of kids shows up. Like everyone's there, and there's a bunch of older kids, right? And then, and then like, back then, like the majority of people who were at the apartments were black. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I gotta impress these kids because they're like the cool kids, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're the ones who I looked up to because mm-hmm. they're the ones who I hung out with. They're the ones who were like. Not my older brothers, but, like, it felt like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then I was, like, there was this one guy who, like, he was, like, the, the guy. He was a man. Mm-hmm. He was and then I was, like, I was, like, fuck, like, I'm nervous. He's, like, don't be, like, you got this. And I was, like, I was, like, now I gotta fucking fight this kid. He's, like, now I do got it. <clears throat> so then, like, we were fucking, like, we were, we were fighting whatever, like, little yeah. kids, like, the, the fucking bullshit. And then, and then he hits, and then he hits into the ground, right? Mm. I start crying. But then every time, but, but like, but like we kept fighting, like I kept standing up and like trying to fight him. Like it just kept going and going and going. And then at one point we're both crying. <laughs> we're both crying, like trying to beat, 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 <laughs> trying to beat each other up. And then at one point, like, like he gets like a cheap shot in, right? Like I'm talking to some, like as the fight, <laughs> in the fight, you're like, yo, homie. <laughs> like the fight looks like he stops and I'm talking to someone and he like he fucking punches me. 
And the big kid, like, fucking throws him to the ground. And then he's like, don't do that to my homie. And then I'm like... <laughs> like, it's so weird. <laughs> and then I find... And then, we, and then we're done, right? Like, we, we both start crying. Like, we go home. Uh-huh. Then my dad finds out because him... his The guy's dad and my dad Our were clothes. friends. Like, they were co-workers. Yeah. Yeah. And then his dad found the kid crying in the shower... And was and then he would ask him like why the fuck are you crying and, and then he was like he was like because of the fight with the kid and then he had like he had like he had like a bunch of like bruises on his face and shit so <laughs> so then my dad was like did you, did you fight someone today and then I was like I mean sort of <laughs> I mean I guess I guess you could consider that and he was like yeah like he was crying in the shower with hella bruises I was like. Good. Does that mean I won? <laughs> Does that mean I win? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> but that's the only fight I've ever been in. The only fight I ever want to be in. Yeah, yeah. But it was so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. The other day, I got a flashback to this girl who always slapped my ass and like would grab it in high school. Yeah. And I had a girlfriend, and the girlfriend would see her do this, and I look at my girlfriend and be like, "Hey, nothing. Like nothing." Are like you just gonna let this girl like grab my cheeks? Yeah. And the girl, and then my girlfriend was like, "What am I supposed to do? She wants to grab your cheeks. She can grab your cheeks. What the fuck?" Then I was like, "What the fuck? Yeah. You're not gonna, you're not gonna throw hands right now." <laughs> and then, and the girl just kept grabbing my cheeks and like hugging me and like you know kissing my cheek and shit. What the? Like it was actual sexual harassment. Yeah. Like I didn't think about it back then because I thought she was kind of hot. Yeah. But looking back at it, like it, she was just straight sexually harassing me. Yeah. Jesus. And my girlfriend was like. Fuck you. So and <laughs> there was one day where I just blew up on her. Yeah. And she, and then she never did it again. Yeah. But like she would just it was so bad. Jeez. And I and we used to be really good friends too. Yeah. But she we she used to, well, was one of the girls who would be like, Where's my hug? Mm-hmm. Like she'd be like one of those girls mm-hmm. and she just grabbed my ass for some reason. You said you had sexual harassment training, right? Yeah. Oh um, yeah. So is that sexual harassment? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's sexual harassment. Yeah. Going to our local expert. <laughs> According to our local Hell yeah, that's sexual harassment. Um, yeah, uh, I learned that uh, misgendering someone uh, and not calling someone who's transgender by what they actually prefer mm-hmm. is sexual harassment. Yeah, that's fucked up. Um, like, um, like it's not like if you did it in the workplace, it's not something that like you'd get like. Like super big in trouble for like like um, like suspended or anything like that. Yeah, it's just something that they like kind of be like, hey, you know, you make sure you name them right. Unless you kept doing it and you kept calling them like a, you know, like if if Tarzan transitioned to a girl and I kept calling him still, you know, uh, Tarzan or yeah. or something that doesn't refer to what he actually wants to be yeah. right. Mm-hmm. And and I kept doing it and I know that he didn't like it. Then yeah. it's like complete sexual harassment to yeah. the point where it's like okay, you, you know. What You're sucks is there's some parents who do that. Like I had, a, I had a friend in high school <clears throat> who's their dad would not accept that yeah. like they were a guy now and they wanted to go by a certain name. They would keep calling them by their birth name and like mm. how would how much would that suck going home and like being misgendered every single yeah. time they talk to you, every single time they introduce you to company, yeah. they would misgender you. Yeah. And, like, they fought so hard to, like, get the school to even recognize it, like... Really? Like, because, you know, when they shows up on the profile, it, it goes by the legal the, name. Yeah, the legal name. So, it wasn't until, like, maybe halfway through high school that the school started recognizing, like, oh, shit, like, we should change Change this. it, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's also sexual harassment, too, actually. If, yeah. um, if uh, like, let's say work or even school mm. doesn't fully recognize you by what you say you are, mm. they can get fined by the state of California. Um, at, for sexual harassment, that counts as sexual harassment. Yeah. All right. So, l- liquid chocolate or powdered chocolate for your chalky milk? Right? Definitely powder. I think. Oh, powder. chocolate syrup or yeah. powdered yeah. chocolate. I don't think I've had a chocolate syrup that I thoroughly enjoy. Yeah, I think it's definitely ch- mm, chocolate powder. Mm-hmm. But I make choc- use chocolate syrup at work, and mm-hmm. I like when I make it because I made it. Yeah, I just don't like chocolate. Yeah. Well, like, I love, like, the, the well, clearly, chocolate doesn't like you. <laughs> Damn. I mean, clearly the best oh. is going to be, like, the chocolate abuelita, like, the actual blocks of chocolate. Oh, Because with yeah. real milk. Because it's, like, actually, like, chocolate and milk. Like, it's the best. But when you're going powder or syrup, I think I would go powder. Those things, I used to just... No, bro, those are delicious by themselves, too. The abuelita ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah I would just munch so on good. those things. My mom yeah. has those, but I don't know. Like, apples. No, I, I can't do it anymore. Too much chocolate gives me a headache for some reason, but I used to just go off on those. Bro, I don't know what it is, but I love, like, 
like salty chocolate, <laughs> like dark salty chocolate. Like I don't know what it is. I really, I just really enjoy it. Like that sweet and salty mix <laughs> is so good. The only candy I really like is like gummy bears. Oh. Not even that. I don't even eat candy that much. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. <laughs> I'm a gummy, 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 gummy bear. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> ding, ding. Thank you for joining us tonight at the TP show. This has been Tarzan. Pedro. And thank you for joining us, Jose. <laughs> and like always, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, and leave any questions down below. You can DM us both. We DM our TP and J podcast page. Yes. And remember, everything that we have, everything that we're on is in the link tree. In the description down below. Exactly. Thank you so much. We'll hear you. We love you guys.